got that on the agenda. I almost forgot it last time. All right. Uh, Bartholomew? Here. Edwards? Here. Fowler? Absent. No, uh, Care? Here. Parker? Here. Rasa? Here. President Podnanski? Here. Do we have six present? Okay. So let's move into the first item we were talking about on our, our special meeting is the possible change to the water rates of specifically the meter differences between Three quarter, five eighths, three quarters, and one inch. Um, so I sent the question to Mr. Casor asking him to reevaluate those numbers. Um, which he sent this table back. Um, five eighths, this is the current that we have up here. It's currently, five eighths and three quarters are the same at $50, and the one inch is $125. Um, the $50 for the five eighths and three quarters is actually the rate for five eighths. So I asked him to redo that. Um, to make it three quarters, which would then adjust the other rates. So that's where you have your second, the option there that you have on your page. Um, which still isn't quite what I was looking for. Um, so now you have specifically five eighths, three quarters, and one inch. We still would like three quarters and five eighths to be the same, however, at the price of three quarters, not at the price of five eighths. So those are adjusted a bit there. To be, those are the literal costs of those. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry. Um, we do have to approve the agenda. Special meeting. That's okay. I'll make a motion to approve Thank the you. special meeting agenda for April 24th. Second. All in favor of approving the agenda as is. Aye. Uh, Aye. Any opposed? None opposed. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, good now? Yes. Okay. So those are where those rates sit. Um, so we still have time, technically, it would be a rush to, it wouldn't be a rush as much as it would just be the legwork for Catherine and the office staff to switch it out, but there's still time. I think it makes sense to go with the exact charge for what meter individuals have instead of combining two of them to well, the combination spread the cost out. I don't have a little breakdown of how many five eights we have, but it's very small. Um, mm. We don't necessarily want people, we want them between the three quarters and the one inch. That's what services most of the houses in the water. So for everyone to go back to five eights, does, it's gonna, you're gonna end up with issues. So that's where. So well, we're not giving out five eights meters anymore, are we? Not so it was, until they switch out, they pay their 45, and when they get a three quarter, they switch to the 67. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is where we're at. If we wanted to adjust it currently with these rates, um, I would ask that we do it tonight so that the staff would have the most time to enter those changes into the system for the first bill. How were the rates developed? With the rate study. The rate study. Study that we did. This council approved mm -hmm. back July of 2022. Yeah, with this we did a study back before. So the rates do need to be redone. This is going to be something that we do annually. Um, so as soon as we essentially put this into effect, we need to reassess and then get going on what we would need to adjust for next year. Um, we have many residents asking us to reassess before next year. They would like us to actually put a pause right now and reassess currently. But given how far we've come and already put off, um, these rates are in effect. We, when we made that stop, that pause in December for the six months, we put these to be in effect after that six months. So they automatically go in. Mm -hmm. that's, where, um, that's where we're at. For the next, next cycle. Right, that well, indefinitely <coughs> until, as the ordinance says, is updated from time to time by the council. Mm -hmm. So do we need, I, I don't know, where everyone else seems, I'd like the second option, we we'll call that the standard rate, or standard charge. Mm -hmm. For meters, as is. Yeah. Right, so I'll, I'll make a motion that we see. Is there an option two, the standard rate for meters as is? Um, if I may, on our agenda that we just approved, we have public comment before 
yeah. discussing this? We can, there's no problem with discussing it. Um, do you have a second at least? I'll second. Okay, go ahead. Is there possibly make a public comment on this right now? All right, I know, I'm sorry if it's out of turn, but I just, we did have a conversation on this earlier today with the president, and uh, I do think that it would be helpful to hear some some commentary on behalf of some of the residents today. First, good evening, Franco Fumino. I was here last Monday and spoke about the, uh, the water issue. Uh, myself, uh, Mr. Kaufman, and Dave Thomas met with uh, President Poznanski and uh, Captain Trapp earlier to discuss the water billing rate. Um, we trust you guys, you're going to communicate all of our concerns that we uh, talked about today, but I just would like to re uh, reiterate a couple of key factors that, that we found out this just a little more deeply. Uh, the proposed billing structure that led to the vote last year is woefully flawed. There is key information in there that warps this entire situation. And to propose anything, levy anything out of the village that's based on the analysis that was done by um, Mr. Uh, okay. Um, Municipal Analytics. Municipal uh, Analytics. It just, it's, the foundation is extremely weak there, so to build anything on that is, is going to cause problems in the future. Um, the AWWA standard ratios here are, there really should be little to no variance as you, in the residential side of this, uh, as you go from five eighths all the way down to a six inch meter. There, this is not where we capture, we should be trying to capture uh, the additional costs that need to be collected to properly maintain the infrastructure of our water system. The costs should be collected in the variable portion of the bill, i.e., what am I actually using and what am I putting into the sewage system? So whatever demand I'm actually asking for, um, or asking from, for the, from the system, that is where the cost should be associated. Uh, if we try to go ahead and say, we're gonna charge a resident who has a one inch meter $112.50 per quarter, all that is going to incentivize is somebody like me saying, um, I would like a $45, uh, a four, five eighths meter put it in my house as soon as possible. I know I would bear the brunt of that cost, but get it done, please, because over the course of a year, I'm probably going to pay back all those costs. And it's going to make the village essentially lose out on the cost that you're trying to collect in the long term. So, in essence, over time, this is not going to achieve the effect that we are trying to attain with these uh, standard ratios. So, again, I know we're trying, I know this is like open heart surgery and this has been an ongoing discussion for the last year or so, but I really would hope that we could look at this uh, with greater specificity and come to the conclusion that there really should be no variance here whatsoever in the standard ratios and all the variance should be on the actual usage of the resident. Am I missing anything? Okay, all right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So going forward, we will address all these questions with our uh, Mr. Case or Municipal Analytics to see, to address them. Because I don't know if that was taken into account. Um, we especially, when this was done, uh, had Ford as a user. So we, it needs to be, like I said, it's going to be an annual thing um, and it needs to be redone and looked at. Anyways. Um, Trustee Parker, can I have you repeat the motion, please? I got most of them. Motion to go with the option to the standard rate for meters as is. Thank you. What is that? What is the standard rate? What well, we see up, up here. It's, before we were looking at something that combined the two smaller meter sizes to, I guess, balance a cost. And uh, this just puts a cost individually per meter. For the actual size. So the five eighths and three quarters were $50, and the one inch was $125. <clears throat> so this is a rate structure where this, they are, the meters are the size for what the meter is. The cost is for the size. <coughs> Megan, how did we come about that we're not putting in the five eighths meters anymore? Like, no. That's not an ordinance or a. Um, I think we'll have to answer. Tim had answered question. it before, and I can't remember the exact. Yeah. Is it the only standard today? I think it's just more of the standard. Five, three quarter, I think, is pretty much the smallest coming in now. And given the usage of homes and how much demand, 100 years ago you had one bathroom. 
Yeah. So last end of last year, we gave ourselves in December. We gave ourselves um, another six month period, and we kind of told the public that then we would have this done in six months. But from what I'm hearing is that maybe we should change that decision to. Well, I know we have a motion on the table. We'll get through that, but maybe we should hear what he's saying. Look things over again, and maybe get it done in more, one more building. Yeah, I think I think the new rate structure is already set to go into place, regardless of what we do here. This is just adjusting the cost associated with each meter, like your base fee for whatever size meter you have. So regardless of what happens, correct me if I'm wrong, it's going into place. It's going to happen. Rates are going to change. We definitely maybe should look well, at it. I think it. we should continue look to look at it. For sure. Yeah, I don't think so. That it makes sense. We're not going to stop anything that's already going. Mm -hmm. No, um, and that's even in the study. We have this is something we have to reassess annually, which means mm -hmm. yearly. Okay. Yeah. So yes, I'm gonna. I we met this afternoon. I plan to address the questions with Mr. Kasor and see where we go. And if we need to reassess before the one year, mm -hmm. I can bring it before you guys, and you can choose to do that. Our, our, our residents are our number one. I mean, this is yeah. what we say. Why can't it be left the way it is now until you reassess it? I mean, I'm going to go from well, you, 168 know, 40 to, up to mm -hmm. close to $300. Well, and then you would be left without the option. You would be paying um, your sewer with your irrigation all summer. This isn't going to be something that we're going to be able to turn around in a month. We're going to need probably at least the, the next cycle would be another three months, which would get you into your irrigation time, which would irrigate, you would need to be paying the sewer on your irrigation. Part of all of this was to get to the point where you didn't have to pay sewer on your irrigation. I don't have the irrigation. Wait, the complex the does that. Condos. Yeah, condos. That, that's a whole different story. That was handled whatever, by the village that doesn't have a thing to do with me. Right. I pay for that right. in my condo fee. Yeah. Right, and what I'm saying is it wouldn't, We at this point, in putting in currently what we have, the irrigation just at the condo, they're just paying for water. They would no longer be paying for also sewer. Right. But if we had to put a pause on this to continue the current rate, that's not in the current rate. So then this next cycle, starting into the irrigation season, we would also have sewer on your irrigation, on your water irrigation. Do we have any more discussion? If we're going to pause it, we have to, I would highly suggest it's for a whole cycle. You can, we're not going to re meter read in the middle of a cycle. That's just very confusing mm -hmm. to all of the building. Do we want to take a There's a motion. We have a motion on the floor right now. All the vote. Okay. Parker? Yes. Rosso? Yes. Bartholomew? Yes. I'm sorry, Kerr? Yes. Edwards? Yes. President Posnanski? Yes. Motion carries 6 0 to adopt option 2. Okay. Um, as soon as I get an answer back from Mr. Pesor, we head in. I guess another thing to bring up would be if we wanted to go with a different company or continue with this one or go out with, to RFP. Did we go out to RFP for the municipal lines? We did. Okay. We did. How long, how long is that contract? Well, we. I thought it was just for that one time. But we are in agreement with him and the yeah. SBU basis yeah. for mm -hmm. the current um, changes right now to answer yeah. our final questions before yeah. the rollout. But going forward after that, we can. I believe so. so it's it's just it. strictly for the study if we and all to. questions yeah. pertain to it. Yeah. Okay. I agree. We probably should look at it. Just take it out and dive into it and see what maybe another company comes back with and see if you know, it doesn't just affect you, it affects me and all of us up here too. So it's Yeah, so I, it's now I make this decision very lightly. Mm -hmm. You know, I said I have a one inch meter and it <laughs> it flows some water, <laughs> but you know, it, the cost is yeah, so definitely let's look at it. But can I ask a quick question? Um, we have our accountants here tonight. Are 
um, fiscal year budget that we are working on is based on this water study, so that is going to reconstruct our entire water and sewer budget that we are supposed to be reviewing tonight if we do go out for bid and ask for another study that is going to put a delay and a pause on doing our budget and recalculating everything. That is, is that correct? I mean, it's a different, mm -hmm. we'd have to see. In total, you need the same amount of money, no matter whether it's right. coming in schedule one, <coughs> two, three, or four, or five. Um, it's just going to be a balancing act of who pays what. Mm -hmm. But in some total, it should generate the same dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, so <clears throat> I wouldn't let it hold up the, the budget process. Well, and I'm talking if we don't go with any of the current options right now, we just keep it as is while we figure this out with with the so lower variable with the rate lower well. variable rate with the minimum and all of that. Well, yes, the revenue will not come in as currently proposed. Okay, so it, that's going to undo our budget for. You could be crunching some numbers again. More number crunching, but you can always amend after. Mm -hmm. So okay. I, I just wouldn't let anything hold up the process okay. of the budget. Just want to do what you need to do for the rates to make sure everyone's um, satisfied, but. Keep the budget going, and it can always be amended. Okay, so just wanted to let the board know that doing if any other future votes in regards to this um, is going to affect other things, not just the water bills. Mm -hmm. It's going to affect some flow of business in the village as we are coming up on our June thirtieth deadline to have a complete budget. We're doing good, though. We're headed to schedule this year. property and uh, 
I thought I'd offer it to you, uh, people, and uh, so we thought about it. And uh, is there would there, there be access off of off your road there? Off of this my chestway? Yeah. No. There won't be. No. Is it everything north of thirty-two mile, or just less? Just, just yeah, everything. It's this in, inside this blue. Oh, yeah. Is, is there access just to inside this area? Just inside the blue, and you would access it from this lot here. This, this is, is this lot. is this is a cemetery. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a cemetery, and this is a vacant lot, and this is all that I'm thinking. Here. Okay. So we could put this so off of. Can yeah. you access? Yeah, it you, you'd access it. You'd probably access it really right about here. Well, that's the state land, but is there enough? Uh, to put no, it? You, that's no. It's like really steep. You'd have to access it from the state land. So we'd have to get permission. So I could, the guy's name is Mike Trout yeah. um, from the Air Mike Michigan Air and I, he's the one that helped me with the deal. Yeah. Or, that's who I negotiated the, uh, the thing with. So, yeah. okay. so we have But I have his information and I'd be happy to call him for you and yeah. see. But it's a, basically I'd use it just as a parking lot, you know, and it's a cool little place. But again, you can't build anything down there because it's floodplain. Um, I would imagine if we did that, we'd have to maybe build stairs to go down. Um, stairs or ramp, you might, you know, yeah, you it's not, it's not, where I'm proposing you go down, you know, ramp goes down there on the oh, no. but it's, you can walk down it, but it's. Any, any chance on Chess Way, I don't know who No, there's, that. that's owned by the association, because it's a condo, but though there's no access to the, the bridge is open, there's a bridge here, but the bridge belongs to, the one of the I sold this building, he bought he owns bridge. But no, there's no access there. Right, but I mean have you ever talked to them about allowing access through there or no? Uh, there'd be no parking there. And then if that's an act of God to cross it. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that bridge went in there in the seventies before God met in the DEQ and everybody else. So. Our insurance would love that. In what? I said I'm sure our insurance would love that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess, I mean, my first thought is we need to see what the state would say because um, if they won't get his a access and that's a landlocked kind of right. portion, how would we, our people get there? If you like, I can call uh, the state and yeah. you know, okay. see what he's got to say and say, hey, the village, just think about it and uh, be mindful about Because they got to mow it and keep the trees down anyways because of the airport. Mm -hmm. so, you're doing them a favor. Well, if that's it, the so council they, would like to entertain it, then let's continue um, looking into it. I'd like to mow walk it. Sure. Who's actually mowing it? Uh, I'm, I still mow it. Okay. I'm mowing Which we would then need to take I mean, off. when I lived there, I mowed it. It was like golf courses, like that thing. Right. Now, I mean, it's, it's a cool piece. You know, we drive by it all the time, and I see it. Flood. I've never actually really looked at it to look at it. Right. So how? Tell me about the, like flooding in there and what happens. And Once in a while, we haven't had one that came above the banks in probably 25 years. The, the creek bank. Like the creek bank. Yeah. It's. I mean, it hasn't come over the banks in long, 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 long time. Oh, because okay. Powell Road it is kind of a choke, so the culvert under Powell Road. Holds back all the water, so it's kind of like your pipe thing. It's kind of like you got a three quarter inch pipe going into a four inch pipe. So the Powell Road holds the water back, and then once it goes underneath Powell Road, you know, there's less slide and just doesn't have the volume to. Uh, uh, to but when I was a kid, before they put their call in there, this was before most of your times, um, it, it would flood, but it hasn't flooded years and years and years and years and years. And, years, yeah. and when it does, if it floods, it might be up for half a day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think um, if the council's interested, then we yeah. continue to look into it. See okay, if anybody wanted to call my, my cell phone, you can call me. It's uh, 586. I don't want to see it on any bathroom walls. <laughs> you, know, like, <laughs> you, you want to email us? Because I don't know if it's going to, well, we don't have cameras here. Anyway. But, so, you know, 255. Yeah. 6060-255-6060. I also have his contact information. Yeah. Okay. Would you prefer to do it as a group field trip or no. you cannot? <laughs> I mean, no, you don't have a vehicle to take with That's all the meetings I've finally. I'm pretty good. It's a workshop. 
Yeah. Yeah. No more than two. Yeah. We have a time, please. Yeah, I've driven down Chud's Way and kind of looked at it from that side to see a little better. Okay. Or you can park along the thing, but the, the, the brush that's on the thing, I've got these thorns a lot like this, so if you stop there, pay attention. <laughs> but we park at, on Chud's Way side, and we'll just walk across the bridge and walk across there. So So did you know the Heralds? Pardon me? Did you know the Heralds that lived down the street? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Leslie. When we first moved to Romeo, we we moved into that house directly across the street. That's oh, okay. kind of close to the road. Right. So I remember hanging out back in there, and it, it did used to flood years ago. Yeah. Okay. Now there it does, because you've got you've got two branches. You've got the north oh, branch, you're coming and then you've got East Pond. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Give me a call. I'll be sharp with trout. <clears throat> trout, trout, whatever it is. And then I will get with you. Okay. But I'll put a call in. Okay. Thank you. 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 Everybody has same information. We have to redo it. Call it to order and talk about that again. Yes, yes. please. Can we do the pledge again? You know, here's a key here. Key for the agenda. Let's do what the agenda says. Let's say the pledge. Mm -hmm. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God. Make a motion to approve the agenda as is. Support. Pick one. Support by Bartholomew. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? None opposed. Mm -hmm. Did we have any public comment? We had some unfinished business. We had some information Julie provided us regarding that. Let me turn it the way. Um, the rubbish funds, as we talked about it last time. So she wanted to get us this information so that going forward we could adjust as needed walking through here. So you guys have all the information that's up there. This is just for our audience. Great. Um, so we had the two pages. The second one has the totals on it for us. Um, where you can see collected in whole is 378,958 in change. Um, 205 in change comes from residential and 173 in change comes from business. So that's the total breakdown of that. That is how we get to where we get to. So I didn't know, or we don't know how you would like us to plan going forward. Um, again, we can always make the adjustments. Um, what? Hmm. Do you see what? Oh, oh yeah, no, I'm here. Okay. So how, how do we get to that for the business? Like, is there a, a rate that they're charged per square foot? or? No, they tax it as business, and that's how they're, they're not taxed. They all have the same tax, or is, does it fluctuate? No, they have the same mill that their tax has. Okay, all right, that's It's just, yeah, their value, but it's going to be, their taxable value is going to be different than a house. Okay. So we wanted to bring that to you in 
consideration of going forward with how we would and looking at um, going out for bed this year and what we would want. Um, so this, pardon me, Ron, this was to include the central business district into the pickup mm -hmm. if they can have a wheelie cart or a, a small cart garbage but then it still leaves out the rest of the businesses and the industrial that are still paying into this correct this is nothing projected this is literally as is this is what is being paid currently oh i thought this was out. a change no 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 no, no 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 i'm explaining to you how you, we get to the money we get to um, okay i see okay. and business includes the industrial I don't know. No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think just because they take care of it themselves. So they're they're excluded from paying into that? They are not excluded from so paying into that. So they do pay into that. Yeah. So they would be included in that business portion or the residential portion? Do we know how he... Do you know how the numbers that were pulled? I care about the paper. Caroline. Caroline. Yeah, unfortunately, so Caroline. Caroline. So there's so many yeah. businesses right right now. Business and business. Everyone pays into the, mm -hmm. into the rubbish room, yeah. Which is what a lot of businesses are complaining about. It's like the cemetery. We're not there, but we all pay for it. <clears throat> they pay for it. They're not getting it. <clears throat> we get some, right? They get so, well, the CBD gets something, but it's not general garbage pickup like we receive at our home. Would, some do. Sure, but... A couple do. Mm -hmm. So does the business that's businesses and industrial make up that 173? Um, that I can't answer. Caroline pulled that from her um, tax records, and I don't know what parameters she put on. Okay. Outside of business, did she put business and industrial or just business? Mm -hmm. I cannot answer that. She okay. is out of the office for a treasurer's conference. Okay. So it's just something we've got a little bit more information there. I wanted to give it to you guys. So that going forward, we can see what we have, how it's um, split up, and going into our RFP for it, what we're going to need to do. What do we currently pay? What is our contract at? It, it, was, it goes up incrementally every year. Mm -hmm. and, um, well, what do you mean, what do we pay? What do we pay for monthly? For the clinic or the contract as a whole, say for this year? God, what is it? It's like 29000 a month? Okay. Hold on one second. It's in the high 20000 a month. It's not just 25. I was oh, trying okay. to think. So if we cut everybody out and just did the residential, who is served with the 205 cover, it is kind of. But I don't know that you can just cut anybody out the way that the mill is, or that it's um, put out there. Um, it will, will, I don't think that would cover it all. I don't even know if that's an option. We'd have to, are we up to 25000 a year? It's a month? Because right now we're paying twenty one five a month. Oh, it is twenty one five. okay. So $21,500 a month is our contract and services with them. Times 12. What is that contract done? October 31st. $258,000 we would take, but we do pay a year right now. Yeah. And that is with, in our contract, in incremental um, adjustments over the years. Mm -hmm. So, Which is right now, and I don't see that going down. Correct, so our new contract is only going to keep going up. Okay, just keeping that in mind as we go forward. Um, any more discussion questions? Let's move into our capital project. <laughs> All right. Better. Um, oh, can I take a comment? Okay, also what you have in front of you, I wanted to point out in the green and the blue paper, these are budget notes of when I had discussions with Tim for DPW and Al of wastewater of items that they let me know of as that would impact the upcoming budget as far as cost increases, items that they're in need of, items that 
I don't know if um, they're looking at to do is a projected project. So you guys have asked um, last time for budget notes. These are the budget notes that I took upon these meetings, and I do have one for the police department for tomorrow also. So if you have any questions, I know neither one of the supervisors are here. I'll do my best to answer it based on the conversations that I already have with them. Thank you. And then you did have notes put into your budget in front of you. So if something was changed, increased, whatnot, there's a note in it for you. Yeah, that's now 590 for water system. Yeah, the first two looks like they've been combined yeah, with somebody else in 497. Those are yeah. combined. Okay. Yeah, the idea would be that by the end of the current fiscal year, whatever's left in 490 would get moved to 590, so there would not be a budget for 490 in fiscal 24. Okay. Same thing with the other one, we'll go to 591. Okay, so on, that's what I was going to ask, because on the paper we have, it says it's going to be combined with 590. Yeah, mm -hmm. No, the one that should be 591. Well, it's 590, 591. Yeah, so 497 on our note, it says 590, but it should be 591. Then. Yes. Right, right here. Right. So, yeah, I just wanted to, oh, yeah. yeah, I saw that. 591, sorry. I wanted to clarify. So, do we even need to cover any of these, or can we just move past them? Okay. You'll be seeing a budget of a come through. Yes, yeah. yeah so. um, before the end of the year to move these funds. Nope, not if you don't have any questions and you're good with that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Same thing with 497? Yeah, 497 is a change of 491. Okay, 541 into our building and inspection. I did have some questions on that. Sure. Um, so on the, the first page, just going through the different uh, Permit cost or you know, expected permitting. I was, I was just a little confused. If you look at the electrical line, it goes up a little bit, which roughly, on average, of a permit cost would be like 14 permits. But then you go to the heating and cooling, and it looks like that's increasing. Is it by from where it currently is by 15,000? <coughs> so. Yeah, from where the, uh, the active is. I'm just trying to figure out why we're expecting to, from where we're actively budget is right now. Only going up 4,000 in electrical to 15,000 in heating and cooling. Are those permits a lot more expensive? Uh, no, the heating and cooling permits, those are our mechanical permits. Yeah. Um, well, but the electrical, I mean, with the I don't know if this has to do with the marijuana industry that's coming in. Well, I know well, I get that. I mean, if they're going, if they're doing grows and stuff, which yes. doesn't look like they're doing a lot of grows, but I know just saying because the annexation of the properties, mm -hmm. you're only basically including enough for like 14 more permits in electrical based on where we're currently at. I mean, if you if you go off the projected for this year of 14.4. And you're only saying you're going to go up to 15 next year at $600. That's roughly about three permits. Probably. I mean, we can project that a little larger than. No, I, I just didn't know what what we were expecting to go up by. I'm just looking at the actuals, the active mm -hmm. where we currently are. We're pretty close to the end of the year. I don't know how many more permits we're going to. For this year, 
Yeah. You know, and we do need to keep in mind there is the possibility um, within the next budget year, um, if the property um, prospect right. gets right. developed, right. if Bowers gets developed, we have over 20 um, residents mm -hmm. being built. Yeah. I, I, I would you think this would, if that is actually the case and happens in the year, I guess well, if it goes more permits, it's not going to really. Right. Affect we need to anything. at least, if this was insanely over, then that, that's a bigger concern than if it was under. Well, this is our projected revenue. Yeah. So, so this is projected up. of how many, like as residential is slowing down or industrial is kicking up, but then at the time, you know, the village, uh, middle school property is it's a bit of an enigma for us right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't it? So, but as our projected revenues, I mean, obviously, if we go over, that's always a bonus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just didn't, I guess, just the difference mm -hmm. in between the electrical and the, and the mechanical or heating permits. Just, yeah. we're going up 15,000 in one and roughly four. Well, I four. guess if you go back a little farther to 21, 22, those are solid numbers that, mm -hmm. that we know. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not really too far off. Because we based this year off of those and then building forward. We didn't change the rates for those permits? Not on the trade permits, but other permits. I think we, we did, did change a, change a little bit last we... year and we're looking to do that again. And they really are by the time we take in everybody's time. Um, just even the clear full work on top of the inspections, inspections and everything. Yeah. It, it hardly, it, I mean, it really squeaks by covering mm -hmm. the necessary. So we we're still probably one of the These lesser mm -hmm. <laughs> municipalities yeah. around the church. We've talked about possible um, pre planning prices. Yes, pre planning. Or pre planning, piece. especially the, um, <clears throat> pre planning for those who don't own property yet um, mm -hmm. versus pre planning for those who do. Different prices there. Um, so we'll get a whole team together to pre-plan for a possible project, and then given the planning, they might not step forward. And we just had seven hours. If that was a one-hour meeting, we had seven of our pe different people there. Yeah, so um, we've talked about looking into that going forward, but that's a different topic. So would you like to see this adjusted? Are you happy with this? What would you suggest? No, I just was looking for an explanation on okay. the difference between the two. That's all. Yeah, I'm comfortable given that 21, 22, we have hard numbers. Mm -hmm. um, and given that we have the possibility of um, different bills this year, that I think we'll hit our numbers. And then on the, the next page, with the, the contract and service, I'm assuming that's a note below it. I just didn't know what, what that meant. Say that one more time. Contracted service, yeah. but there's nothing budgeted. Right, because underneath is your note saying the planners contracted services will be in the general fund under planning commission. Planner so that budget will be moving over to planning commission. So just like the other two. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's just getting pulled out. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> right. It's just changing but, um, right. funds. Yeah, I just didn't understand the note. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Because she's more associated with the planning commission mm -hmm. reviews. And we have talked about we did only approve that for a six month trial basis. We are going to be we are looking back at that soon in a council meeting just to probably need to get beds in. End of July, she expects. Anything else um, here? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. Nope. Let's move on. Then we're to 590. And this water system. Residents increase for businesses an additional 150 from fund 490. So that's what we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any questions? So, um, the 
gross revenues and those, I mean, you got them out here, it's pretty stable. But aren't they tending to, to go up a little bit? Or? I don't know, don't they have more, more and more usage? I don't know, we, we haven't been down to a certain amount, don't we? Outside of the 250,000. Those don't get calculated for like Sure, maintenance. And, yeah. Yeah, that's. I guess that's pretty much. Okay. Well, given that chemicals and a few things will be going up, it will go up in accordance of mm -hmm. percentage, but. What how, did we, oh, how did we get the 206? Um, on the sewage treatment, sewage treatment versus oh, why was it, um, What was that amended budget? That was the requirement. I was under the impression that the Bruce contract was 58000 a quarter. Correct. The end of the year is a true up. That is correct, yes. So why would we only plan on 150000 uh, Correct, that should not be. Two fifty plus the true. Two hundred plus the true. Two hundred. Two hundred. Sorry, yeah. Like that. Well, then I have a question: Why there was only one hundred and fifty in twenty one twenty two? Because that's only three quarters, right? And we're supposed to even out. Unless there was an overage and it was made up for it at the, at the end. Or I don't it was paid early in twenty one. Okay. Yeah, it was that might just be the last three quarters of 22. Yep. Sometimes that's yeah. That's how we got to the 206? The two of the six thousand dollar difference would be the true up. It's two hundred plus, plus any other assuming reason. they go over. They go over. Okay. So we want to see the projected of 22, 23 at 200 instead? Is that what we're saying? Do you have yeah. the numbers from the year prior to 21, 22? Uh, well, and only so much was available for Julie um, and the team given prior ways that information was saved, stored. I'm not an expert on your sewer system. I'm just doing the same project for uh, Bruce that Mr. Kazor is doing for you. And so I just happen to know that. Yeah. I, think so. I think they just made us fifty thousand dollars payment or something too. Okay. <coughs> what is the contribution revenue that we saw in twenty one that we're not seeing? That is likely water lines from a new development. Any new building, they, the contractor puts it in and then grants it to you. That's right. Or is that also because we lost um, some of Washington Township? Mm -hmm. uh, we did. Some of the south users side. in Washington yeah. Township went out of Washington. Okay. Like um, from the church south. Yeah, Barbara Ann. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Across the frontier tunnel. Yeah, different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When they redid the streets, users are no longer off the system. They're off our system now. Mm -hmm. So you're going to change the <coughs> 150 to 200? Yes, that will be adjusted. And then a further amendment once we do the true up. That's probably going to go yeah, that, towards the real end of the budget year.
I'm asking. Unless um, disposal of the price went up, possibly, or we are. Um, the, yeah, that I'm not aware of. There's some conversation we did have with Al. No. But we can revisit that. Yeah, we're, at, we're at 60 in 21. Yeah, that's what I saw. We were at 60 the year before. We only budget event 40, 49. We're at 45. We're saying we're at 75. That's not what he didn't mention that one was going to go up. He mentioned certain chemicals, and he, he right. didn't know the specific ones. Yeah, so. It's 15,000. I don't know if we're going to see another increase like that because we're only showing a $3,000 increase for the, this next year. Okay, that one can be adjusted. Or we'll just verify with Al before we make a final adjustment. Yeah. If we go down to repair and maintenance equipment, mm -hmm. 21 at 40, we're already at 61, projecting 65 by the end of the year, and we're back down to projecting 36. Well, the 36 was based on Al's recommendation, actually. Um, he did have all these numbers in front of him, but that's straight from Al, so we can just read and That's them. lower than where we were in 21-22, so I guess that's something we don't. Yeah. With repair and maintenance? There's um, something maintenance. Repair and maintenance of equipment, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that we Maybe because we got the new truck and the Well, the trucks are at GPW, yeah, that's not Al's. Uh, I don't know. Um, we are, and yeah, that came straight from Al's. Well, I'm not quite sure. Capital Outlander, separate. But he, um, <clears throat> he was saying that he had not been getting his budgets, so he wasn't quite sure where he was in not in being very conservative in spending and um, maintaining. So my thought is that this year he just didn't repair as he would have you know, been being confident in his um, numbers. Mm -hmm. And that, which then leaves more to be done in the next year. That's just less. He's already. You know, he's almost going to double mm -hmm. what we budgeted for this year. So I, I, just, I don't know if you could just ask him sure. for a note on that. What just, that has just, to do with the recent... We trust him. Yeah, so make sure maybe he overlooks something, you know. Some of the yeah. recent purchases. Yeah, because we just recently did one at this meeting. Yeah. And we did one a week right. or so before. And I know mm -hmm. there's a, um, he has a, another request coming up. We'd be in a better position to plan more, though, for that stuff. Yeah. Right? Not that you can put your finger on what it's going to be. Well, but if you can plan on, you know, this thing's only good for 10 years and right. we're planning on replacing it, you know, eight years, 10 years. So mm -hmm. rather than budget 36 and have to spend, you know, close to 65, rather than budget for something. So Seven years, spend, spend 36, right? Yeah. Go the reverse. Where are you at? Because I'm seeing 51. What's that? Oh, okay. That's fine. No, that so I was looking at the other one. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so we dress that. And back to the proverbial telephone. <laughs> we are not going up to 15,000, right? We're going to. Yeah, work. that should be. Their phone system's already been updated, so there's no reason why we should be getting AT&T bills anymore. All right. Because it, it's creeping. It's, you know, great. Because their phone bill is like $300 a month right now. I don't think we readdressed it with. Julie, after oh, the correct, right. 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 There's still some um, live lines that are not being utilized that will be shut off. Mm -hmm. The conversation with that bill that we had, mm -hmm. we're holding tight on it, so that's not going to be mm -hmm. expended. Capital outlay on this. Are we waiting for name? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're going to wait for name, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can watch it. Okay. That's right. So we'll move forward then. Capital out
there's a request in here from Tim for interesting statement. Tim goes along with your is that yeah. 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 So Tim's asking for a sewer camera and since we're in the sewer fine, that's where it would go. These are just yeah. oh gotcha. So it would be from the sewer. Okay. Mm -hmm. These are just requests and yeah, we'll see where it all um, how it all ends up. So it doesn't it can be a planned request that we go, okay, in two years and we'll plan it this way. That's why mm -hmm. we have our projected planners out. We can, we can plan it that way. You can say. Um, do we currently have a camera? Or yeah, I think we do. I think we do, but he's looking for a new one three, you know, to replace it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because that is a service we do offer right now. Did he get three bids, or is he just kind of confident it will be in that range? He's just throwing it I know he did look at pricing, so yeah, he's pretty okay. confident it would be in that range. He pretty much always has his estimates. Even after the saw grant, that's not something that we they will pay for. Alice hundred I, was the hundred for um, the parking lot. Was that one? <clears throat> well, we have at this time an undetermined amount because he was willing to do it in phases over three years. So what specifically um, is the hundred? It just says capital outlet. Is that for his? Oh yeah, that was probably because we based it on over three years based on the. Price that DPW was going to pay for a parking lot, so I think that's where we got the hundred thousand. So repair fund for the building. Mm -hmm. Is that fifty-one thousand per mm -hmm. Al's request? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Fifty-one thousand, and that was at Al's request. But like, is the building in bad shape, or does it really take that much to? It's old. It's very old. I mean, you know they're trying to do updates right now to it. Um, it is. Would that fifty-one then be? Would a portion of that be given to Bruce for their their portion of the maintenance, or is that fifty-one and then Bruce puts their percentage on top of that? Brian or Julie, can you answer that? You mean. So that you get to charge Bruce yeah. a share of your maintenance. Yeah. So this is going to be your gross cost, what you are going to pay. Mm -hmm. And then that can be part of the 6000 or any other number that goes on top of the 200 that they owe you on the And it's recouped in a percentage. Like, it's all... So... On his sheet, I'm just trying to go back and forth between a bunch of the sheet. He's got line 745 chemicals. He's saying an increase of 10,000. Mm -hmm. We look at 745 on the budget, and it's going from we're projecting eight this year, and it's only going to 10. If he's saying there's going to be an increase, oh, well, 210. Huh? Okay. Two ten. All right, 210. Okay. <clears throat> I was playing tricks. And that's why I get out my paper and you the line. Yeah, increase to 45. And how about the uniforms where it says need to near DPW? Correct, because there wasn't any item, any amount budgeted for this year, so we have to make sure it's in there for next year. Yeah. And they have the same uniforms, the same amount of staff. Okay, so that's not listed in here yet? I don't think so. So would you just propose this same? Yeah, I believe it's around eleven. Well, and it was I mean, fourteen a year. We, fourteen thousand, I think. We budgeted for it in the past. It just somehow got. I'm sorry. We budgeted yeah. for it in the past, so we could go back and look at those hard numbers. Mm -hmm. It just for some reason was missed. Okay. This year. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's, it's nothing new for wastewater. Okay. I'm not sure what the line item went last year. So often, how does that work? Well, currently, we hire 
in two contracts? Correct. The other one is dissolving. We're in contract until 2025, I think. With Sintas, but we also have Yeah, but that's the What's that mean? Okay. What is two contracts? We have two different. Well, one was doing services. uniforms, one was doing some floor mats, and it just didn't work out as a cost saving effort. So we're just going back to some costs. So we're not paying the other company? Pardon are, me? Are we paying two companies no. for the same thing? No. Oh. No, no, no. no, no, no. Okay.
Not necessarily. Unless you know that there is a we new do. development that is going to have to tap oh. the system. It, it's not like they just show up, right? Yeah. I mean, you'd have to have it in the neighborhood or whatever right. going in. Okay. Yeah, again, at the time of these projections. So we currently okay. have none. Yeah. Because, um, Today. Right, right, yeah. The, I mean, LML's expanding, they already have everything. Okay.
If we could go back up to repair and maintenance of meters. Any questions on that one? I know we were talking about meter sales before, but you said we got a lot of meters that need to be replaced because they are broken or need repair. Currently act, active at the 30,000, and that, that dropped drop down to 20 for next year. If we think we're going to have more repairs needed, shouldn't that at least maintain this year's number? Is this our expenditure or revenue? We're in expenditure. Expenditure. Um, five nine one five two eight nine three four. Because I think repair the meter, isn't that's on us, right? If it's a it new meter, yeah. they buy it, if it's damaged, then we have to fix it. Mm -hmm. So I, I can't see that going down if we've got a, 100 meters that need to be repaired right now. Was that our $12 maintenance fee that we were collecting? That we no longer um, are going to be collecting <coughs> Rates. I wouldn't say it that way. Killing like the still large, just in there somewhere. Right. Oh, well, this is an the expense. structure. Rate structure. Sorry, yeah, finish my sentence. That's not a revenue. Though. Did I finish my sentence? This is an expense. This isn't the twelve coming in. This is what we got going on. Oh, expenditure. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. We can look into that. Yeah. I mean, it's to, activity to date is at thirty. One second. And they have done, been doing a big push. Yeah. Um, they've had a lot, um, I don't know exactly, but they've had a big push. That's why we're kind of out of meters, because a lot of the people have seen everything. OK, we, let's get them fixed. Um, so I, Do you know how many meters we've we repaired this year? I, that I guess we can look at that. How many we repaired? How many we still know yeah, need to be repaired and base the number on that? Right. Well, it's hard to say, because if you have a broken meter that needs repair, then your water bill was minimum you weren't getting assessed carefully so nobody was really calling for repairs so now that with the new rate structure if you have a broken meter you're being assessed differently and you're paying a different fee that is going to really kick into gear getting the meters fixed and then your cost will go down so a lot of people were excited i think to have a broken meter because then they weren't they can use as much water as they want <laughs> but then but, pay for it. but if we're having a big push to Get that done, then we have repair right. maintenance. This yeah. should be going. We need to bring that up. Okay. If our projected for this year was 32 and we're already at 30, I can see us meeting or exceeding. Okay. That would be my um, assumption. Okay, yep. That makes sense. I'd be remiss if I didn't point out the telephone bill. <laughs> <laughs> and these folks, I think, are the winners here for their telephone bill. That is the highest one I've seen. So mm -hmm. forty thousand, yeah. All projected. For yeah, that's uh, that's the one I think that we were in dispute with with. Uh, yeah, but hey, they're ten thousand. The attorney. Yeah. What? I said, but hey, they're ten thousand. Okay, yeah. So. Oh, no. No, 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 no. If we can I'll be excited to save twenty there and put that under the repair meter. I know. <laughs> Isn't it? Wow. But they just ran fiber lines through the village. <laughs> okay, so we'll adjust those two yeah. accordingly. Anything else? So, the one quick I know with this, the well house that needs to be built, why wasn't that done when the well went in, or why wasn't that? Put into that project when we did because it. Because I think the, the I'm not sure completion of the actual well took longer. I'm not sure the whole scope of the whole the whole project was thought about. As much as it was an emergency, we need to get this done. Mm -hmm. We need to get the well done. And then it took uh, what, like a year or two to, to get it. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It got stretched out. Do it again. The first one did. Yeah. Okay. We did do it again. Is this, this the well first street there? Yeah. This was. You guys approved this, I think, in mm -hmm. beginning of 20, yeah, we middle of 20, I think. Wow. So yeah. it was before I was on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And I don't know if regulations, well, maybe the regulations much. changed <laughs> in that amount of time <laughs> that, was, that they couldn't just build a well house. They needed to then go get engineer jobs. I don't know. When that was known. Still would have thought that something would have been included in, in that project for that. It probably we need to be engineered or not. Yeah. Well, they <clears throat> a bit of. Well, the wood was also a different price back then, too. Okay. Anything else? Any other comments? Um, concerns? Okay. Well, then I guess. You got anything? Yes, I do, but it doesn't have to do with this budget. I called the village office today to ask what time the meeting was. They said 7 o'clock. I came in here before 7. What I want to know is I must have missed something. What is option two? I want to know how much my water bill is going to be so that I don't have the big money when it comes. Well, the meter rate that we just did went to one, you know, one inch or three quarter. I think we're one inch. I mean, so that would be the one twelve fifty. I can't see you having one inch. Well, that's what they claim. They claim the complex is one inch. You got one inch probably coming in. A, I, I don't want to say a delve. Maybe Nolan would know more than. I mean, that's what the DP dump. I mean, the water people told yeah, us. Yeah, the main coming in is probably one inch, but it's probably a three-quarter meter, is what I would assume. No, but, all the condo complexes in the village of Romeo, all the one inch meters for each individual um, dwelling. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's insane. That is insane. That's a that's a lot of that's water. That's a lot of water. You yeah. can flow a lot of water. It's a lot of water, and it's going to be a lot of money if these rates stay in place. Yeah. Don't the pipes get reduced after the after the meter sometimes? Do you have the, yeah, I mean, what's the other meter fixed cost? This was the better of the two options that we presented. So, so I didn't hear the options. So what were the options? Right here. I can't yeah. read them. Wait, okay, so a, a one inch meter is at 112. That's, or 67, 77. that's a flat fee. Right, and this, this is just for sewer, and then I'm trying to find, recall what the other fixed cost is, because I don't have my flyer. Because now we pay if we're 10000 or less for, ever, for at least the last year and a half. We oh, pay nice 168.40. And back in July, when the study was done, we were told $34 decrease. They should never told you that. Well, you were here. You all voted on it. Can I see your flyer? I'm trying to figure it out. Sure. Here. What's your normal usage on here? Well, this one was 4000 okay. and then it jumped to 8000 okay. So I'm saying 10 or less, because that's what the 168.40 was based on. 10,000 gallons or less. And we don't take in laundry. I don't think anybody does there. And the and the irrigation is totally separate from my individual water bill. I have to. I probably have to kick in when I pay my condo fee for the irrigation. It has nothing to do with this. This will be what comes on a bill similar to that. Yeah. Third. Third. Nobody down there that I know this of. This is just. Right. That this was isn't all. Both. No. Oh. Because they were okay with these. I mean, there was only thirty gallons. So, you know how many gallons you use? No, no. I just told them. The, uh, the period before this last one that I just paid the water bill, I was only at four thousand. I jumped to eight thousand because another thing is is it's flat. Nobody, you can't tell me that 88 people down there all use an even number of gallons, but everybody's gallons are in the thousands, okay? So, um, but now, since this came up, uh, I'm, I'm wetting my toothbrush, <laughs> off goes the water. Uh, washing my hair, 
wet it down. Off goes the water. Uh, this is unaffordable. 300 bucks, that's 100 bucks a month, plus the softener and the salt that goes into the softener. And like I said, everybody's saying, well, it wasn't right in July, but you weren't here, you weren't here, and everybody else was here. And it was a unanimous yes to go ahead with the study. time that it wasn't going to save the majority of people money. But you were here when that was said, because the audience asked, what could we expect? Yeah, $30 to $40 in I don't decrease. Know, this was just the sewer. I, I mean, you could review it on video. I thought that was total. DVD, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I have no reason to be here. I got better things to do. A quarter's going to cost me that now. Ugh. This is just sewer. Yeah. Yeah, no, it didn't address the water of the three quarters. That's not what it was. If we halt, I know we're out of that meeting already, so I don't know how we go about it. If we put a pause on this again. Do we have 18 hours between now and tomorrow's meeting? Again, it is the. <laughs> The rates are live, so people are calling now for final. Yeah, they're getting that rates, final um, water bills for you know moving, coming and going, and whatnot are getting the new rate structure right now because it's been turned back on. Because we made that decision. Because we're in the next cycle that now that it's going to produce the new rate structure. So what was her new bill going to come to? Depend mm -hmm. currently at the six thousand. Is two thirty one seventy, and then the ten thousand that she asked, I had two seventy four fifty. If my math is correct. Yeah. Mine's one sixty eight now. Mine's gonna. Yeah. I got a one inch, sixteen thousand gallons a quarter. It's gonna go from like one seventy something to three. When I just did some quick math. Yeah. It's gonna go up to three forty. Yeah. I don't And there's a lot of people that aren't even aware. Absolutely it. not aware that July billing comes. Oh, that's why I said Your phones are gonna be <laughs> town hall meeting. You know, and and this this list. I mean, it would it would benefit me by having a different meter put in. It would definitely benefit me, even if I had to pay for the meter, even if I had to find uh, my plumbing guy from Patty Ann in the orchards, have him come and do the work. By the time I pay that money per year, it would behoove me to have a different meter put in. Correct. But I didn't think, living in the village of Rome, that I would ever have to do that unless my meter broke. Right. And that's what we're saying. Given the concerns and everything that we're hearing, it would make sense to change the way the structure is. I would have to have time to ask those questions. We, I had a meeting with the residents today at 2. Yeah. But I think it would be easier to change the, the billing, to change the three-quarter and one inch. It's a, it's a vast difference between $22 and $55 for a quarter of an inch. <laughs> that would be the lesser of two evils. You wouldn't be dealing with replacing meters or coordinating that or having a stockpile or whatever. I mean, this is ridiculous. And that technically, as the gentleman said, it's, it's like a 22% increase in our water rates. If, if you took that south to Washington Township and presented that, they'd go ballistic. They'd blow up the Township Hall. 22%. It's horrible. Can we, can we discuss this at a meeting before our meeting tomorrow? I don't know. We might need that. I think we do need to. We might need to pump the brakes on this. Definitely got 18 hours. I mean, it's but only. As Catherine hours. said, it's already live. It's, it's already March. been going on. When did it? Um, April 1st? No. Um, I want to say it's there. Like the cycle ended. On 315.23, which was uh, so 316.23, mm -hmm. 
It fell you, out. That's when it got turned on. If you kicked in those new rates, that's when it started. Mm -hmm. So residents are already affected by it. As soon as you can pull the rates. plug on it, it would be very wonderful. You know, the people that get caught up asking for final reading, oh well. And we have a lot of people in our condo complex that are on uh, fixed income. I mean, Diane's sister moved out. She couldn't afford to live there on the old rates. We weren't that short on revenues, were we, last year? I have to look. That we needed 22%. And that's what we're saying. The, when the study was done, things were different, and it does need to be redone. Um, Nothing was ever put in place to redo it for the national yeah. So at this point, so that was tomorrow. So that reading in June, June. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Chris. Chris said that at the beginning of and July. They know that and we would have had a little June, bit of. Um, so it would have to be not until end of August. We, we can't Correct. figure this out by the May, by, by the June reading. Correct, because they will read them in June. Mm -hmm. Which again negates the whole irrigation option for the year, but if we're willing to mm -hmm. kick that down out of the way for to hold rates, that's where we're at. So, so let's. Is yeah. anyone opposed to having a special before? Let's work on this meeting. Or at the end? Well, okay, we're at the end. Yeah, we can't put it, we got to post a time, so we'd have to be able That's to be exact. That's why it's 6.55. Let's see, we're going to have to have a I have one more comment. When the new rates, after the July vote, and the people that were on the council then voted unanimously, to support the results of that study and put those rates in effect in the next billing cycle. And when that didn't happen, I came to the meeting and we were still getting the 168. We were expecting a decrease. And I came and said, when the study, when you got it all figured out, will we get a credit on our bill? And the answer was, no. So, if I could read between the lines, that should have been the indication. There was going to be no credit. And we were actually heading for an increase. And then we waited until now, when the new flyer came out. That was our first warning. Well, we'll put in a special meeting for tomorrow evening, and I'll post it right now. We have to post it right now because we're at 23 hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Motion by Parker. Report. Report. Report by Edwards. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No opposed. 8.4. So will it be discussed?